This your boy Precision Connections at PrecisionConnectionsAuto.com Where the right connections are definitely the only connections And the real installers are definitely the only installers you should guys should be messing with Alright, so we got a 2018, I think this is 2018 Honda HVR Customer called me about a month ago Like, hey, how much you charge to do, you know Basic radio insulation, backup camera Give him a quote he told me he was able to find it cheaper. I said, sir, may the forces be with you. Two months later, he calls me back. Hey, some guy destroyed my car and he's not picking up his phone. Can you help me? Because, you know, I, you know, I explained to him I used to work for, because this is my selling point. You know, I used to work for the dealerships as an electrical auto technician. So I know the full electrical aspects of a vehicle. Basically, they cut, instead of buying an antenna adapter, they ended up cutting the, um, they ended up cutting the antenna. The adapter is like nine, 10 bucks anywhere. eBay, Best Buy, where have you? But they ended up cutting that in order to um, do a El Cheapo movement. They also cut the harness. They cut the factory harness. And I think this is what caused the problem. Because now, as I unravel the tape. Let me see how El Cheapo get down. So, okay, so all of your USB connections are cut this is a USB connection this is an auxiliary connection and this might be another USB connection somewhere so you got the CAN bus here I guess they somehow shorted that out maybe that's what's causing this or maybe not um okay so as we ravel the tape I mean the harness for this if you look up this harness on eBay the quick adapter harness around you can get for 10 bucks with the antenna adapter maybe $20 what's this right here they cut this don't know what that is don't know what that is for maybe the um, satellite radio connection or something they cut that so now customer comes to me crying could you please please help me and I'm like why would you need my help or not you just here and you said that you could get the job done cheaper somewhere else so what happened let me show you guys what happened so they messed up some connection right here because this is where everything started and for some reason let me shut the vehicle off you can see all these lights are on your boy precision connections truly always here to save the day so they ended up in the fuse box. So now, just to you know a short note, the person who did this insulation is no longer in communication with the customer. And that's why the customer is back here trying to get my help, which is gonna cost them way more than what I initially charged them to do the job the right way. I could never understand certain customers. Just a small few. You know, I have my loyal customers. And you know, they, you know, my fingers in the way, but you know, too bad. You know, my loyal customers, they always come through. They always show me love. They always appreciate the highest quality standard work. Right. Let me see if I can unplug this. So this guy is actually in limp mode because the vehicle does not want to shift anymore because he took the battery off and then the car took itself out of lit mode and for you guys who don't know what lit mode is is when the car detects a problem a severe problem it goes into a default factory setting to prevent further damage to the vehicle but the downside with that is that you don't get any type of normal driving performance I think the maximum you can go is probably 37 miles per hour. Well, having said all of that, let's jump back into the saga. 
of not doing business with the professionals and going to El Chipo. So as you see it, El Chipo figured that he had to break inside the fuse box in order to find something to fix the problem. Don't know what he was looking for, but I'm sure that he didn't find it because the car is here with the professionals. Ah, so now uh, the customer is kind of El Chipo himself. So he had to go to the junkyard and get a junkyard um, fuse box. Now the problem with this is that the immobilizer is part of the fuse box. As you can see, there's a lot of circuitry inside of the fuse box. So this car won't start with this fuse box. How do I know? Because I just know. I used to work for the dealers. And I know all the tricks of the trade. So this fuse box will have to be programmed. But first, I will have to short out the problem because I don't want to burn out this customer's fuse box. Because I think this fuse box online is going for $399. Which is a um, pretty much a bargain compared to what it goes, goes for from the dealership. So um, I'm going to short out all of these wires. And um, yeah. Alright, so what's not working? wipers and matter of fact let me just put the um put the fuse box back like they say like they say a picture's worth a thousand words this one the video's worth ten thousand words so i was going to put it back and show you what the car is not doing so you little kitties out there little puppies out there that think you trying to come up in the game and try to i'm going to undercut everybody i'm going to come with the cheapest price you're going to end up like this customer if you're on the customer end or if you're on the scammer end or the bad installer end you're going to have to block this customer and go hiding but i mean we're living in a dangerous world dangerous times a lot of people depend on their vehicles especially a vehicle that has less than in this case, that has less than 7,000 miles. I think it has like 5,000 miles on it. And um, I don't know. Uh, you guys just got to learn the hard way, I guess. So I'm just going to connect the fuse box. Reconnect the fuse box just to show you guys what's not working. Because you guys could be like, yeah, why you ain't show me? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. I'm going to show you. It's what happens are you trying to save a few dollars what was it like a 80 dollars difference this is definitely not an 80 dollar job so you know okay we got keys camera's a little shaky but i'm back in effect okay we got check engine light on we got the tire light flashing we got the traction control light on we got the shift indicator light just going crazy that's this thing right here we got the brake system on at least the turn signals are somewhat working um we got that uh, maintenance light on it's not a big deal um what else okay so we have the shifter so when i decide to shift into gear it doesn't do anything but just flash in sequence with the um tire pressure light okay wipers don't work as you can see there are no wipers okay no wipers when you put the vehicle in reverse, the um, windshield wipers in the back come on. So the rear windshield wiper comes on when you put the car in reverse. That is so... When I put the car in reverse, wow. Put it in park, it shuts off. Reverse. I mean, maybe that could be a feature. Maybe that's a good feature, but um, the customer say it wasn't doing that. He didn't notice that. So the only way to get the rear wipers to work is you gotta shift into reverse. 
um yeah again nothing there uh, the windows don't work the uh, rear view side view mirrors don't work and that's what you get when you rock with El Chico <laughs> yo he's not even picking up his phone yo he turned off his phone on the customer customer call went straight to voicemail <laughs> You have reached the voicemail of da 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 El Chipo, and he's not taking a call right now because he doesn't feel like giving you back your money. Um, your best option is to go see Precision Connection, and then when you come there, he's gonna take care of everything, but you gotta pay. And then also, when you pay, you also learn a lesson. So you get two for one for the price of a lot. <sighs> For the sake of keeping the video short, I'm just gonna fast forward through everything. Pretty much just straighten up all the wires, fixed all the CAN bus connections. I do have a video that I'm gonna post on another channel of this particular vehicle, just going through every single wire. So just stay tuned for that link. That's coming really soon. Man. That's your boy. So holla at your boy Precision Connections if you want things done the correct way. Man, that's how it's supposed to be done. So we're just test driving the car to make sure that everything is copa steady. And um after we do that, we'll move on to another project. Customers should be happy that they got their vehicle, their vehicle back how they originally had it before um, dummy man installations put their hands on the vehicle. But um, it's a learning lesson for the customer. And, you know, try to save a few dollars, you end up spending a lot of few dollars. So um, yeah, so that's what it is. It is subscribe, like. Comment, what have you, hit me up at precisionconnectionsorder.com.